Clint, what did you think of the job that Chapman did there in that ninth inning, worked himself into a little trouble, but essentially got himself out unscathed? It was, uh, I feel like everyone was probably on the edge of their seat, you know, but the way that Chappie's done this year and, and in the past, you know, you, you've got to believe that, you know, once he finds that rhythm and, and gets a little momentum that, you know, things are really going to go in his favor. And, and once he did, he, uh, he had ice in his veins and, and closed it out for us. Aaron Boone described the at bat with Xi Man Choi as tense mm -hmm. throughout that at bat. Is it tense for, for you guys as well? And you mentioned how well he had thrown this season. Do you just assume he is going to find a way to get out of that? Look, it, it, it was it was very intense out there. And, and I don't know why fans were trying to have a conversation with me during that moment in the outfield. They, they were asking a lot of questions during it. And it and it, it was a very high intense moment and I was locked in for it. And, you know, G-Man took a lot of really good swings. It seemed like he was trying to hit off of Chapman's fastball. And, and so once he, once he got him to a three, two count, you know, I, 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 I was hoping he was going to strike him out. I didn't know what was going to happen. And, and obviously, you know, he got him to swing at a ball. So, you know, you can't really ask for anything better than what Chapman and G-Man provided us in that at bat. Uh, when you look at the last 12 games for you, you've been swinging the bat much better, uh, walked a couple times again today. What's been the biggest difference for you at the plate? Uh, you know, I mean, I mentioned whenever we were in Cleveland that, you know, I, I have a lot of at-bats in my arsenal, or I guess uh, batting stances in my arsenal. And, and, you know, I've just been kind of playing around trying to find which one feels comfortable. And, and the one I've got right now, you know, where I'm lifting my leg a little bit higher and, and giving my myself the best chance to, you know, give my a swing off. Uh, I guess that, that that's what, you know, it's, it's translated to because it's all about comfortability. It's all about confidence. And, and you know, right now I've got both those and, and I'm just trying to stay in the lineup. Justin Shackle, go ahead. Hey, Clint, this, uh, this pitching staff has largely been able to control the game situations that either they pitched themselves in and gotten themselves out or been able to pick some of their teammates up from just playing behind the pitchers. What are you seeing from the staff this season? They're dominant, you know, like I, I joked yesterday, you know, it's it's kind of boring standing behind those guys because they don't give you a lot of action. And, and, and that's the that's a good thing. So, you know, it's kind of like whenever you see Luizaga, Greeny and, and Chappie come in, it's you automatically in the outfield kind of, you know, feel like they're going to get this job done because they've done it so many times consistently and, and they're dominant and, and, you know, we're just as hitters trying to be just like those guys right now.